recently I went to the dealership to check out the new KTM 1290 Super Duke R Evo. And I'm going to tell you, I left severely disappointed. I'm going to tell you in this video why I will never buy a KTM. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. And I'll tell you this, guys, right now here in this hot weather, what's awesome is this CE Armor jacket that flows a ton of air and it's cheap. I have links to the CE Armor jacket and this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet. It comes with an automatic tent shield, airbag vest to help keep you safe. My shorty glove. Links to all my gears in the description and comment section of this video. <laughs> this thing rips, man. And it's so lightweight. Woo! Oh my goodness. And you throw it around. You can take it low. Oh, it's so awesome, man. And you know the KTM 1290 Super Duke R has, uh, it's set up kind of like a supermoto. But it's too big to be a supermoto, man. You know? It's too heavy, like what 450 pounds or whatever it is. And what what the number one thing that I hate about that bike when I sat on it, all I had to do was sit on the bike, guys. I can tell if I love a bike or not. And when I sat on the bike, all you see and feel is tank. Tank right up here, big old humpback tank. And you you put the bike side to side between your legs and you feel it's a top heavy bike man and i don't like top heavy bikes um now i'm not saying you know the torque is probably amazing on that bike i'm sure it's cool um and a lot of you guys love the bike so i'm not i'm not hating on your bike but for me my personal preference is i like a bike that feels light even if it's not real light and by the way another thing i hate about the ktm 1290 super duke r is I hate the price man it's too expensive but not only that in order to unlock the quick shifter and some other features you got to buy the track pack that costs 900 extra dollars so the base price of the bike at twenty thousand dollars plus you add the 900 the guy told me out the door without the track pack was 228 with the track pack would be 23 7 23 thousand seven hundred dollars you know what I'm saying? What a, am I going to have $23,700 worth of more fun on the street than I'm having with this YZ 450FX that cost me $9,000 out the door? <laughs> and I put in probably no more than $1,000 into it, so I'm in, in, in for it here for the 10 G's. 10 G's. Less than half the price. For close to the same price, I can get a brand new 2024 Ducati Street Fighter B4 that blows away the KTM Super Duke in every shootout. And from my research, KTM reliability is pretty sketchy. Uh, many people complaining of lower quality of materials on the bike and faulty electronics. And also their warranty doesn't always cover everything. <laughs> look at the fun value per dollar i've never spent more than fifteen thousand dollars on a bike and that was for du the ducati x the avail s that i got a sick deal on that bike brand new out the door i think it was like twenty six thousand. i got for 15 and it was only a year old and it had like three three four thousand miles on it and that was an awesome bike by the way but i ain't paying no twenty plus thousand dollars and for a bike you sit on it and it's like the the, the humpback of Notre Dame motorcycle. Great big old hump on it with this top heavy. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't like that bike, man. I, I Just sitting on it. I didn't even want to ride it, to be honest with you. I, I asked them for a test ride. Uh, you know, I was just going to do it for the channel. And I'm sure I would have loved the bottom end torque on that bike. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm, I'm not saying that the bike was... Um, it's, it's crap or total crap. It just doesn't fit me. You know, one bike does not fit everybody. You know, that's why, you know, I, I, I try to emphasize to you guys, when it comes to motorcycle choice, it's all about personal preference. There is no such thing as a bad motorcycle unless a bad motorcycle is a motorcycle that doesn't run. Otherwise, there is no such thing as a bad motorcycle, man, because everybody has their own preferences out here and what they want in a bike. So a lot of you guys take it as, you know, some of you guys will take this as hate, that I'm hating on the KTM 1290 Super Duke R. 
and that is not the case at all um, I you know I've, I've been praising the KTM for many years because how everybody rant and raves about all the torque that it has over a hundred pounds feet of torque you know and uh, I think that's great but I think they what they should do with the KTM is they should do like Yamaha did with this bike they mass centralize the weight down lower on the bike it's time for KTM to change that uh, Super Duke up man I've never really liked that praying mantis look of the bike I think they did make it a little better looking over the years as the years have gone by um, but looks are all subjective but it, forget the looks centralize that weight take that weight you know like other bikes I, I felt sitting on that bike is it's the most top heavy bike that I've ever sat on except for the Harley Davidson live wire electric bike that bike felt extremely top heavy man it felt like the battery was all up here in the middle and uh, I just I don't like top heavy bikes so I don't know what do you guys think leave a comment below uh, do you feel the same way I've had a few viewers tell me that they they bought the KTM they like the performance and all but they really it they didn't like it didn't feel right to them it, it didn't set up right to them that's like the Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory that I used to own the 2017 uh, and it was that one didn't feel top heavy but the way the bars were situated is that it was kind of in an odd position where it was like in a, a, a more aggressive sporty position uh, but yet more comfortable than most super bikes because it had the bar raised bars but the, the pegs were really high and far back like a super bike so it wasn't really that comfortable but I heard they made some changes for the new uh, uh, Tuono um, that's much more comfortable than the older ones and they they made a lot of corrections that I didn't like about the bike on the new bike so uh, I'm talking about the previous gen but anyways guys again if KTM redesigns the Super Dugar makes mass centralizes the weight better then I consider getting one but even then man fun value per dollar 20 something thousand dollars versus 10,000 here and I'm having way more fun probably have more fun on this than any most other bikes out there um, I'm telling you guys get a super moto man this is where it's at make sure to hit the subscribe button make sure to hit the little bell symbol so you get notified about videos and leave a comment that's why I do these videos I love talking with you guys so until next time I catch you guys later thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.